And Hayden are a small fish that lives in the bay as well as they're all along the Atlantic coast. And they've been the, uh, the target for a really important uh, fishery that's happened since the mid uh, 1800s uh, that was mainly used as fertilizer initially. Um, and so they uh, support the largest fishery on the East Coast. So menhaden are important because they're one of the main um, prey species for species like striped bass. Menhaden are either the first or second most important fish that striped bass eat. Um, they're also important for a lot of other species like bluefish. And so they're, um, uh, they're important in that respect. They're also important economically because they're a main source of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, for um, and that's what they're being caught commercially uh, for is to be used for those um, uh, fish oils as well as for fish meal um, that's used in or in agriculture applications so it gets used for animal feeds or making feeds for growing shrimp or other aquaculture species. One of the interesting things we don't know about them is really their migration patterns up and down the coast um, and this has become important because almost all of the fishing for them has been concentrated in Chesapeake Bay, particularly down in the Virginia waters of Chesapeake Bay. That's happened because the, the plants that process Menhaden have closed all along the coast until there's only one plant left. And so the question that we've been trying to answer is how much is that um, plant in Reedville, Virginia then affecting the population coastwide. Because if the population is moving a lot, then new menhaden are constantly um, coming into that area and the plant's gonna be having less of an effect of if the fish only stay there their whole life. And so um, what we've been using is this really interesting data set from a study that was done in the late 1960s where um, the US government went out and tagged over a million menhaden all along the coast. And what they did was they injected them with metal tags and then they went and at the time there were about 20 different plants for processing menhaden between um, New York and northern Florida. And they put uh, magnets in those plants to retrieve the tags. But at the time, nobody had really developed the uh, statistics or the computers to be able to process the data from a million fish in that kind of study to estimate their movement rates. And so what we've been doing um, with uh, one of my graduate students, Emily Lildestrand, uh, we've been uh, developing um, statistical models that allow us to estimate movement rates up and down the coast of Menhaden um, from, uh, from those data. And so some of the interesting stuff we found is uh, Historically, people thought menhaden moved up and down the coast a lot like striped bass, where in the summer they would move up to um, summer feeding grounds up off New York to Massachusetts, and then that the population would move back south off North Carolina in the winter. And what we're finding is that there's a lot more of menhaden staying put where they actually um, end up. And so there are general patterns where some menhaden are moving north and south, but the majority of individuals in most of these regions are, are staying put. And so it makes for a, a different uh, story about what's happening with Menhaden. Um, the, one of the interesting parts to bring it back to the Menhaden reduction fishery is that the Chesapeake Bay still seems to be an area of pretty high movement. And so there's a general pattern of Menhaden moving north as they get older. and so. Um, fish that are born down in the southern part off of the Carolinas or Georgia or Florida tend to move up to North Carolina and then from there they move up into the Chesapeake Bay and farther north as they get older. Um, and so we do see that part of the population um, in this region being replenished uh, fairly, fairly rapidly. But once animals or once menhaden get up in this northern region they tend to stay in the northern region um, and they don't migrate back south.